We spent three months going, woohoo, this is working, this is amazing. Um, we're getting cool wines and people are buying them. And then after about three months, we got a phone call from one of the suppliers going, oh gosh, you've got you to pull the wine deal yep. down. I'm so sorry, I've just had a call from my national sales rep at XY, big retail at <laughs> Murphy's. Um, <laughs> <laughs> And, and, and you've got to pull it down or they're going to drop my account. And, you know, they buy 300 grand's worth of wine in a year. I can't upset them for yep. your $3,000 order. And we're like, yeah, yeah, cool, no worries. And this started happening more and more. We'd obviously just come on the radar and they'd, they'd started, you know, a very effective <laughs> competitive tactic of just tell suppliers that perhaps that wasn't the best way to go about it. So we found ourselves in a position where we were going to have no good wine um, to be able to do, like, overnight. So we had to scale and we had to, we're like, what do we do? I don't know. We need to order more wine. How are we going to order more wine? Well, we need money. And we need more people. So we just, basically, we needed to gross overnight. So we set about trying to raise money. And that was forthcoming. But then we were like, we don't need money. We need people, like mm. audience. So we, and we nearly, we nearly um, went into a partnership with Fairfax at the time, which was not a bad deal, but not a lot of money. And then we ended up um, partnering with, or, you know, partnering, that sounds great, selling the majority share of the company to a company called Catch of the Day, who were at the time leaders in London and retail. And, and that did serve to help us scale. They had a big bank account. The press that came out of that transaction was at a time when everyone was talking about group buying sites. That all worked. Um, and and, and it, we learned a lot because they were smart operators. But what we found that they just, there weren't the synergies in their, their audience. Yeah. Like, you know, just because people like discount Prada sunglasses didn't lead directly to wanting to to buy good wines. And I think as well, we just, we lost that. Well, it was best illustrated when we bought it back because we bought it back 15 months ago and that was delicate. But we bought it back and it was June 30, midnight. It was a handover and we bought it back with a zero balance sheet. Effectively, no money in the bank, no stock, no anything. Happy new financial year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bit well, that's, we used that date to get the deal across the yep. line, you know. And, and so that was effective. But we started and it was midnight and change over and our bank balance went to zero and, and we're watching our sales ticker in, in, on the site and we're going, first sale comes through, $583 and all three of the founders at the time were like online and we're like, yes, okay, just another 12 grand till payroll next Wednesday but we're back and what we felt was it felt visceral again, it felt life and death, didn't feel like something we wanted to achieve for next Tuesday morning's yep. management meeting and we realised, oh good, that feels right and I think just that even though we weren't controlled by this company, we weren't feeling like we were removed, it wasn't life and death and it wasn't ours anymore. So I think that's, that made a big difference in what we're, when we got it back. We just, I don't know, we were tapped in and smart and passionate again. Mm -hmm.